In this video, I will be maxing out Skaramouche in one day. Will it be possible? Well, let's find out. And as you guys see, I don't even have Skaramouche on my roster. So that's our first step. 20,000 Primo Gems and of course 5 Intertwined Fates, which you guys don't really care about. But first 10 pull, purple. And that's a very bad first roll. And just to show you guys my history, I kind of got Nahida as my last 5 star character. So this is a 50-50 and hopefully we can win this. Um, Next 10 pull and I am have a good really feeling. Uh, I, I don't have a good feeling about this, but like, like I said before, this could literally be the new 4 star. <gasps> Okay, the third 10 pull was Farazun. Farazun, um, I still don't know how to pronounce her name. Yo, she actually is pretty nice. I think the bigger question is who we're gonna get as our five star character. Once again, this is a 50 50. Whoa, oh my god, wait, that's a C1. This is really good luck because Scar and Moosh is gonna come in the next 10 pull because I'm pretty sure that's good luck. <gasps> what? Okay, I thought that was a gold for a second. Whoa. Wait, what's what's going on? I, I, I just got a C2. I wanna say her name, but I feel like I'm mispronouncing it every single time. C2 Farazun. I'm pretty sure that was a 40th roll. Oh, oh, that's kind of embarrassing. So I think we're good now. Uh, 50th roll right here. Uh, I made C2 Farazun was pretty good. Let's do another 10 wish. Wait, this is 70. Oh, this is early pity. Guys, I, I really want to win with 50-50 really badly. <gasps> I got to call my mom. Okay, I'm calling my mom. I didn't actually call my mom, by the way. <laughs> She'll be like, what, what are you talking about? I don't even know this game because my mom doesn't even know about Genshin Impact. We have the Wanderer. His artwork is so sick. Thank you so much, Hoyers, for letting me win this 50-50. I'm actually smiling right now. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> has this ever happened to you? Well, if it has, I might have the coverage you're looking for. And that's from today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Yes, I was also surprised a law firm wanted to sponsor one of my Genshin videos. When dealing with the consequences of injury, like as you guys saw, it can feel like you're trapped in a corner. However, that's where Morgan & Morgan has got you covered. They have over 800 lawyers and 100 offices specializing in injury law. And what's even more great is the whole process with them is free unless they do win your case. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Just go to ForThePeople.com or dial pound law from your cell phone. Now, uh, let's go back to where we were. Here he is. He is level one. Nothing is leveled up at all. He has a regular book, no artifacts, no constellations, no talents, and only him. Um, I think enough talking. Let's uh, start leveling him up. Yes, I do have a lot of books. Do I build a lot of characters? Not really. And now he is level 20. But let's keep on leveling him up because we do need him maxed out. Oh, I just realized we got a set of rewards. I'm kind of... <gasps> Wait, I actually kind of wanted this weapon. Yeah, this is not Copium, by the way. I actually needed the Aquila Favodio for my Jean. I'm pretty sure this is good with Jean. And the last one, maybe we'll get a purple here? Maybe? Okay, never mind. I guess Hoyoverse doesn't like me. I keep forgetting. We need to build the Wander to level 90 first. And... Oh, wait. O o only zero? Well, luckily, you guys aren't going to see me farm all these mushrooms or even these calibers. So uh, let's quickly speed run this. Let's get to farming. <laughs> And you know what? Why don't we use four Anemo characters? You got nothing on my four Anemo characters, trust me. Especially Wander, even though he's level 40. <laughs> and finally, after killing my Wander and Xiao multiple times, we finally defeated this boss. And I'm going to make sure to equip better characters for the next time we fight him. But obtain our first rewards and we have two perpetual calibers now. Can we get four of these this time? No, okay, another three. At least it's not two, right? And now for the final attempt of killing this boss with the Wander or Skaramouche. Let's do our big PP damage. Bring out Skaramouche after he attacks. And we have our last perpetual caliber, which I, I, I don't know when the last time I'll actually farm this boss, but we got this part needed to ascend Kazuha. Wait, Kazuha? Uh, uh, I mean, Skaramouche. And I didn't forget about you, mushrooms. I'm sure these mushrooms won't be as hard as farming the scarabs, right? And let the hunting begin. When I say I was struggling to find these mushrooms, oh man, I was struggling. But this is the last mushroom that we need for Scaramouche to be maxed out. Time to waste some more books. Level 50. 
level 60. As much as I would love to keep him at level 69, unfortunately we can't because of course we're maxing out my Wanderer. Goodbye level 69. Goodbye. Level 70. Oh, and of course I didn't do my calculations right. Let's craft this. And Ascension. It is the moment of truth. He's level 69 or 79. Sorry, I, I was so used to saying 69 for some reason. Level 79 and boom. Level 80 Wander, level 80 Scaramouche. And of course, I do have my Queen Fates real quick. So let me quickly use those. Wait. Oh my God, guys. Look at my Primo Gems. I just noticed I have 7777. This is good luck. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. This could be it. This could be my Kaya. It's Kaya Bell Electro. And now you might be wondering why I have Wanderer level 80 and not level 90. Well, <laughs> hopefully this is okay. If you guys were in my shoes, you guys would understand, right? I lied. So I got way too tempted to make my Wanderer level 90. So here's him maxed out. Why did I do this? Well, the only answer I can give is a Nemo Boy Supremacy. Now that we're done leveling up Scaramouche, it's time for the weapon. Looking through my weapons, I don't even have the new five-star weapon that came out for Scaramouche, but that doesn't mean we we still can't build my Skaramush and we're gonna build them with a Witsif which supposedly is a good free-to-play weapon. Now it is time to farm the City of Gold and hopefully get some good artifacts for the Wanderer. You know what let me see some of the Wanderer's damage of course he doesn't have artifacts but he does have a weapon now. Let's use our ult level one ult. Oh 2000 that's actually not too bad and we're done okay. Oh oh wow that's not too good. And of course, Holyverse is not liking me too much. One with Please, one good artifact. A flower? You know, I, I was expecting a little bit of attack instead of defense, but it's totally fine. At this point, the video should have been, this video will end until I get one good desert flower. Thank God, yes, we have finally got a decent flower. And of course it has defense, that's all I needed. All right, let's start leveling up some of our artifacts for the Wanderer. Now, the question is if I can get crit damage. Just a little bit of crit damage. Oh, that's the first. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, and crit damage. Yes, yes. We love defense. But 18% crit damage, not too bad. Now, on to our feather. <laughs> you know what? Let's level something else. I hate this game. This one actually hit energy recharge. Let's equip this. And now for our sands. You know what? Just for now, I will be using an Anemo Veridescent artifact set because I don't think I have the best desert set. All right. Not looking too bad. You know, it has, it has crit, crit damage. Sorry. And it hit crit damage once. Uh, you know, that's all I needed. <laughs> I'm now going to use an off piece as my goblet because I know this one has a good amount of crit damage here. Oh my god, I just realized I have 32% crit damage on this one. Okay, wow, I actually, okay, these stats aren't actually too bad, but it's 50 to 186% crit damage. I'm actually very happy with that. No consolations, you know, if I had more Prima gems, I'd probably go for a C1. It's finally time for the talents. This one's going to be kind of iffy because I didn't check out the talents of what I need. And we need these teaching up here. Eric's. That's interesting because I don't remember the last time I actually farmed these. Okay, let's go farm some of these books. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some. <laughs> I'm actually really happy. We're almost there. All we have to do is level up his talents and then a Nemo boy, Scaramouche, will finally be maxed out. I just knew the moment I saw him in a story quest, he looked super dope. And I thought he would be an amazing character when he actually came out. And what do you know? He actually is a really good character in game. Oh my. Oh. Jesus Christ, he just did 7,000 damage. Once again, he's not fully built and he's doing some pretty good damage. Better than a lot of other characters that I have right now. But that is only the first part of what we're gonna have to farm. So once again, we're gonna speed run this domain. Um, guys, I just realized I've been farming the wrong talent level up material. They look the same because they all look like flowers. So I thought flowers equals this is what I need. Does that mean I can't, I, I can level up his normal attack at least once, maybe twice? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a Tuesday, it's not a Wednesday and Wednesdays are open for these books. So, is it possible to max out a 5-star character like the Wanderer in one day? Well, probably not after finding out that you can't actually farm everything on a certain day like today. Just for you guys, I will wait the next day and actually level up his talents because I do not want to actually leave him with only a level 3 normal attack. 
So it is now Wednesday and luckily I'm able to actually build Wanderer's Talents because as you guys saw, I was farming the wrong ones. But whoever needs these in the future, I will definitely have these in hand. And looking at the domain, yep, they have the Praxis level up materials. Time to start farming this domain. It's going to take a couple of tries to actually get some books ready. So uh, you guys know the deal. All right, I think it is time. So let the talent books commence and hopefully I'm leveling them all up in the correct order. <laughs> Everything level five. Oh, wait, we do need more blue books. Oh, wait, can they level this up to level seven at least? Wait. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. You need more than one Daka Bell, which is the Scaramouche boss. If you guys see my other videos, then you guys just know that I'm not really someone who really pre-farms. And I, I, I'm pretty sure that's the best way to actually build a character right away. So initially, I did not even have my normal attack crown. So I decided maybe I could use a crown or two on one of my talents. And that's exactly what I did. For now, I think it's time to test out my Wanderer and let's use him solo. So first, we're going to start off with the child boss. Remove everyone from the party. I'm sorry. Hopefully we can actually survive with Wanderer only. All right, child. Me versus you, Wanderer. My newly built Wanderer. 6k. Oh, wait. Charge attack. Dodge these attacks. Let's try again. Charge attack. 10k. Not bad. Honestly, our damage is pretty consistent. Let's use this Q finally. Q against the final stage and we did 8k. Not, not too crazy, but... Challenge completed. Solo, wander, no healing at all. And look how low I am. On to the next challenge. Look at these guys over here. They don't even know who's coming up behind them. All right, let's go kill the Primo Geo Bishop. And I do have Sincho on my roster to just see how much wander it could do with Sincho. And it doesn't seem like we're doing some... Cr oh, never mind. Oh, we're doing 7k. Yep. This took longer than expected, but we just killed them. And Sincho kind of helped out right there. But honestly, it probably took a couple of minutes to actually kill that Primo Geo Bishop. I think the bigger question now is, can I solo the Spiral Abyss with Wanderer? Oh, I just realized I haven't even done the Spiral Abyss and I have one day left. Wait, I got to complete this in one day? Okay, at least I have Wanderer now to help me out. All right, I don't even know what enemies are on floor nine, but we're going to see if we can solo this real quick. Floor nine is not too hard. It's all the small enemies. <laughs> oh yeah, we're, we're, we're absolutely obliterating these enemies right now. <laughs> these things have no chance against Wander. But then again, these are one of the easiest enemies in the Spiral Abyss. <laughs> Meanwhile, someone that's AR20 that's watching the video right now is questioning life right now and asking, uh, is it really that easy? <laughs> All right, these things would definitely get defeated faster, but some of them are immune and I can luckily do some damage. But so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, we came across some obstacles to actually fully max out Wander, but I can make this into a series once again. And if you guys want to watch that, make sure to like the video. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. See ya.